Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey everybody, it's Carrie from Carrie T Says. Welcome to my channel. I do a lot of types of videos. I'm a little all over the place. I do Goodwill, I do thrift hauls, boxes, makeup, family, dogs, love, life, disease, anything and everything. You will probably eventually see on my channel. Today, I have a Goodwill haul. I went to the Goodwill for the first time in a long time. Um, they redid the store. They made it a lot more roomy, so you don't have to like try and squeeze to find every little item. That being said, they raised the prices. Here in New York, our prices are pretty high. For dresses are $10.99, blazers and coats are $17.99, Shirts are $6.99 now, skirts are $5.99, pants are $7.99. There's always exceptions. They mark certain things up they know that are expensive, uh, some things they miss, and go into children's prices. So there's different prices. Shoes are all over the place. Not cheap, but whatever. I'm drinking my last bit of soda before a surgery on Tuesday, because I don't think I'll be able to have soda anymore. So I'm enjoying it. God darn it, I'm enjoying it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm filming all videos in the same day. You will see the same shirt for a while. It's all being done the same day. I don't wear the same shirt every day. And this is from a thrift store. It's like the men's oversized snap button flannel shirts. Love them comfy and I'm gonna get right into it because I have a lot to do. So first, bread and butter. It's a staple item for me. Champion, this is a full zip hoodie, navy blue with the gray inside, um, size large, perfect condition. Hoodie, uh, I believe this was $5.99. I'm not gonna pull off the, the little color tabs. Um, we do have a color of the week. We used to have two colors of the week that were 50% off. Now they only have one color of the week and it's 40% off. There's two items I got that were that color. Next, I find this a lot because Long Island there's a lot of preppy people. Nothing wrong with that. And I know I'm seeing a stain on it, but it's um, Vineyard Vines. I loved, I loved the back. It says, Keeping it well, Vineyard Vines. And I see two stains. I see one on the front, but I'm gonna treat them. It's gonna be fine. It doesn't feel well worn in at all. It doesn't have that worn in feel yet. So I don't know if you could see it right there. A tiny one, and then I just saw one on the back. Which I didn't see in the store, but honestly, I think I would have gotten it anyway. Right there. It'll come out. This is a size extra large, it says. Size 18, so this was a kid size, extra large. So this is like a women's small, possibly medium. So I paid $3.50 for that. Next is the dress, the only dress that I got there, and it's from Disagual. So soft. Fit and flare dress. You can always tell from the prints who it is, and the bottom has, you know, a little flare ruffle, and it's like a, a satin feel. And she has a belt. Um, and she has some grommets detail around the neck. And this was $10.99. Here you go, Disagual, and then they always have the stitching in gold, Disagual. It's kind of cool because the inside has the design as well. So if you happen to be taking it off and you want to look good when you're taking it off, it has a design inside. Let's see, I see another sweatshirt. Oh no, this is a soft surrounding shirt. It's a size 2X, navy blue. I love getting 2Xs, big plus size. Especially in like good design, like nice um, brand items. 
It's three quarter length sleeves, navy blue. It's ribbed, long, if you want to cover any parts. Nice with leggings. It has a scoop neck. And this was 40% off. So what did I say? $6.99? Seven times four, two hundred two dollars and eighty cents off. So it was like four dollars and twenty cents ish around there. Next, last minute on the way out, t-shirts, men's t-shirts are three ninety nine. So I got a Tom Petty shirt. It's not a concert shirt. It's just a plain old Tom Petty shirt that was made on a Hanes shirt, and it's a size large. Tom Petty shirt. Next, we got a blue label, Ralph Lauren, women's size small sweatshirt. Has the logo on it. I love logos. Pull on Ralph Lauren. It's black. Navy. Is it black or navy blue? I think it's navy blue. Maybe black. I keep saying $6.99. I want to say $5.99 is shirts or not $6.99. I showed you this sweater in my video. I just fell in love with this. It's from a brand called Cactus. I have to look it up. I just know I loved it. It's like, it was like an embroidered, like rainbow light cardigan that flares out and look, look at it it has like all the cinching in the back and it has like this big wood button like this lagging look to it and i just thought it was so beautiful to give a pop of color to any outfit you're wearing it says it's a size 2x but this looks more like a large medium large to me my opinion I got another pair of athleta pants. These are a size small. These are like blue and black, almost a purple color. They're three quarter length capris. Sign down the sign. Athleta sign. These were $5.99. Next, I was excited about this and I saw these listed online. So I'll probably get around $55 for this, somewhere in that neighborhood. Very expensive, brand new, black label, black label, Ralph Lauren, black and gold sweater. Isn't that, look at that detail, a metal clasp. And it's, it's such a nice, flattering design in the front. It's a size medium. Let me show you again. And I don't know if this was ever worn. There's no poles, no nothing. If it was, it was very gently worn. Beautiful. Love that. Next, we have a pair of Lululemon leggings. These are cropped again the side they have the mesh detail i don't know the names of these off the top of my head but it has the mesh see-through design in the side there's the lululemon logo these have like they don't look like they have any wear at all i'm not sure if the person ever wear it i remember they were a size eight yeah in the pocket size eight which i love finding size eights Love, love, love. Next, we have a Missoni blouse. Isn't it beautiful? It has like the pearlized three buttons on each side at the wrists. It has a little bit of a balloon. It's a size small. It's a Missoni for Target. And Missoni for Target still sells well on certain items. The blouses do. So very excited for that. 
feels like silk, but it could be poly if it's Target. Yeah, it's polyester. But it sure feels like silk, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece with a pop of color. Wear that with a pair of jeans, or you can wear it with a beautiful black, long, flowy skirt. Wear it with a blazer over it. Yes, you're good to go. Let's do silk blouses. Let's go with the theme. Here's a joie. Size small, silk blouse, three quarter line sleeves, has a little bit of a balloon, sheer, then it has buttons, and the buttons are covered with the fabric, which is higher end. Size small, I wanna make sure this one's silk. Shell is 100% silk. Love this. I love the detail on the front. Look at like this lattice detail. Isn't that cool? V-neck. How flattering is this? I love, love, love picking up Jua. I don't get all of it. I get a lot of it, and I like it. Next, we have a, and that'll be around $35, a Kendall and Kylie. Can you see me? Isn't that cute? It's like crocheted top, long sleeve, and it bells out a little bit. And look, it has like a flower detail at the end. Floral crocheted top, and the bottom is scalloped. It's white, there's no stains, there's no pulls. It has a button in the back. And this is again around $30, $35. So cool. Wear it over a bathing suit, you can wear it over anything that's so versatile. Yes, Kylie and Kendall, you did good. Workout season, and we have from Zella. What size? Size medium. Gray. Just like a sweatshirt, crew neck sweatshirt. It's so soft, the inside's so soft. Long sleeve, has pockets. Here's a little Zella symbol. I always say it looks like three boobs. I like Zella. Personally, I have some Zella. I have another really nice um, turtleneck. I think it's size 2X in my closet. It's so soft. Um, anyone wears plus size. It's so beautiful. It's so nice. Has the front pockets, open pockets, pullover. Perfect for this time of year. It has like a little ribbon down the back. Yeah. And I love the, I love the, the stitching because it brings you in. It makes you look slimmer. You know what I mean? Is this green too? I think this is green. Yes, it was. So this was like $3.20. Zella, Zella, why are you bugging? Okay, we got a few pairs of pants here. I was trying to show you, these are from Hue. These do not look worn, they're size large. Hue makes like leggings, um, and they're all, they sell them at different places, like I think Macy's, Nordstrom's. Um, they're not as good as Spanx, but they're as popular as Spanx because they kind of hold you in. And these are jean ones, and they're like a dark wash, almost black jean. And they're narrow, they're slim, and then they have some fading and whiskering. But they're like leggings, but they're not. So how cool are those? I sell these, they're hard to find. And when you find them, they're not always in the best condition because people love them. They're well loved, but those look almost brand new. I'm not saying they're new. I said they almost look brand new. Here's size 26 free people. They're a very thin denim with, look how cute. They're like a stamped, they're faded with like stamped floral designs. Um, they're ankle pants. This inseam has got to be, I don't know, 26 it looks like. And he charged me like these were kids, so I paid like three dollars for these. I mean, I do you think there's slight wear in the butt? I couldn't decide. But there's like no wear in between the legs or anything. But how cute are these? Size 26, they're very lightweight. Floral design denim. Right? With little polka dots. Very cool. And lastly, in this bag is one of my faves. I love getting vintage Tommy with the big 
flag design. These are vintage pants from Tommy Tommy. They're high waisted. They're, they're, you see? You see from the crotch to the top. See how long that is? The only thing I saw was like a slight little wear here. But these are like vintage. They're old. Like who cares? You like them worn in. They're like a straight leg. Yes, Tommy. What size are we? 34, 32. It's a great size too. So women, if you want some men's jeans, you can wear these even oversized, baggy, dad jeans, Tommy Tommy. Let me get to the next bag. Next bag. Rip it open. First, okay, we have a Tory Birch waffle knit tunic top. This is a v-neck, it's completely open in the front, so you have to wear a little camisole bra top. Don't, I don't judge. Three quarter length sleeve. I love selling Tory Birch, it's a size extra small. I didn't know, I thought I saw maybe a little stain, and of course, when I walked out of the store, you guys. I dropped it in the street, in a puddle, but it looks a good. I don't know, is there something on that? I think it's just like a little dirt mark. That'll come out, but otherwise that's it. Isn't this cute? The design. So comfortable, Tory Birch, little waffle knit top. I found another wild fox. This is a v-neck heart design. Perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. Now, you guys, I did see there's a little wear here. I'm going to sweater shave it under the arm. So you know if you want it, there's a little wear. And all of them, they always have this. Anytime they're washed, they look like they're cracking, but that's wild fox it's a size medium she's so soft i got another wild fox very excited about that this one i'll sell probably like 25 30 dollars because it has a little wear okay i'm really excited about this um there's a backstory to them but i don't want to get into it now i'll go over it one day because i can go for almost a full video i love knitwear I love knitwear that is different. I like things that are different. I love this brand called Storybook Knits and their designs are unbelievable. I found four of them um, at the thrift store. One I couldn't get because it had a designed button on it and it was cracked off. So it looked like obvious. You couldn't even put something in its place and it had a little rip. It was so beautiful. It was the prettiest one, but sadly I left it behind. But I did get these. They're very heavy. They're very substantial. Um, they're, this is a size 1X. Let me show you the label. These sell really well for me, especially on Depop. Storybook Knits exclusively for Home Shopping Network. So they're for HSN, but they have a following. And I love them. So um, eBay, Depop, I'm going to try on um, Poshmark. I never have. I usually sell them pretty quickly. It's a size 1X. This is like your grandma's blanket, right? It's like 4th of July. And look at the sequins. There's not one sequin missing. Look at the stars. Always the detail always gets me with these. They tell a story, a storybook design. Details with the stars, look at the buttons. They're like, feel like suede it's rayon and cotton yeah and i love these they're it's longer what a fun print to wear the sleeves aren't too long they're not encumbering i mean just every little detail i love these and it buttons down the whole front so you can wear it open or close so thank you hsn home shopping network i love these sweaters I'm thrilled to have it in my closet again. It's been a, a minute. Um, 
since I've gotten one. I mean, like you just can't keep looking forever. Like that's like the little pro suede little detail. Love them. And I'll get to it in other ones in a minute. Then there's like another um, sweater company I love. Um, a tad bit itchy. You do have to wear something under it. If uh, you can wear an undershirt, you know, whatever. Whoever wears a tank top, whatever. A camisole if you're a woman. But I love this brand from Italy. It's called Mondo. And I just love their designs. This is so slimming and becoming. I love their sweaters. It's like acrylic. Wait, is there any wool in it? It is. It's a tad bit itchy. You have to wear something under them. I just love them. Yeah. It's a alpaca, 20% alpaca, 20% wool, and I mean 40% wool, 40% acrylic, and 20% alpaca. And they're made in Italy. Love Mondo sweaters. Anyone else like Mondo sweaters or sweaters like me? Very happy with my, my sweater pickups this week. I like my sweater pickups. You know what I mean? Okay, so here, I have another storybook one in here. Oh, I love the collar on this one. Yes. I might wear, I might even wear one. This is brown. It's a thinner material. Um, it has some fancy needlework. Look at this arm. Right? It has like little beads sewn onto it it's like aztec material then it has like this faux little like fur at the end i mean it's just so much to it, it has like this faux fur collar which you could take out to wash or take out if you don't want to wear it and it has like this zip up neck you could take that out too you can take either out all of it out and it's a longer length it's completely buttoned up and look at the buttons I like these metal buttons. How beautiful is this? It's so hard to get the full effect of these, but I love these with a pair of leggings and long boots. And look, the collars, you could just take them out. This one obviously was washed and it wasn't put back in right, so I'm gonna have to do that. This is 5% Remy, Remy, and 45% cotton, it's a size 1X. Yeah, so it's put in backwards. So we're gonna have to put it back in again. Yeah, hello, storybook. Okay, and I have one more. Is it in this bag? It is. Oh, this one's heavy too. So this is a brown one. It has gold metallic threads through it. It has yarn detail. And when you put the collar down, isn't that just beautiful? Look, just look at the sleeves. They all tell stories. Every little thing, you could just keep looking at these forever. Like they have like little, I don't know, they almost look like hearts. I'm not sure if they are. This one's quite heavy as well. And you see like this one, it's like for autumn. It has like the, um, the button, the leave buttons. The other one had buttons and it was missing one. And it was like obvious. This has all of them the bottom right there's a slit in the side it has these little tassels with buttons Ugh. just look at these sweaters forever yeah they're a little oversized so 2x can wear if you're a large and you want to wear it oversized you can do that too okay there's two more in this bag and we have from england from uh, Sport Equipment, English Polo Club. We have this wool sweater and it says English Polo Club patch. And then you see all the detail embroidered and then look at the back, it has a number nine. And it looks like a polo bear is the polo bear. He's a bear. How cute is that? Oh yeah, I think it has on the sleeve too. Yeah, it says champion patch on the side. The collar is navy blue. I don't see a tag in it. I see what she's made out of, but I just love it. I'm all into sweaters. Okay, so it's made from Lappin House in Europe, L-A-P-I-N, Lappin House. 
It's a great brand. Uh, it's made from wool and, poly and polyamide. Um, the size is European. This is a size extra small, for sure. Okay, lastly in this bag, I also have a thing for vintage sweatshirts. They get a lot of looks and look-sees on my Depop page. Um, people like them. And this is a vintage navy blue sweatshirt. She almost looks like Holly Hobby, right? I look at the squirrel and the leaves, but look, it's like sewn on. It's like patches sewn on and then embroidery. Um, and it's just like the mixture of them both. And a detail to it, it has like a faux. Tunnel neck underneath. This is from a brand called Gopher Sport and it's a size large, but it's vintage. So yeah, you know, large can wear this, medium large. Vintage sweatshirt, love them. Does anyone else like them? Let me know below, cause I'm curious. Okay, let me get next bag. My next bag only has a few things in it. And this I got for my husband or my son, unless someone wants it. It's a Levi's men's black bomber coat. Has a side pocket. You know, has that sheen to it. I love that. Places to hide all your ID and stuff. I love that big zipper that says Levi's, the pull. It's just really soft and comfy. It's a size medium. And I paid $9.99 for this coat. I remember because I thought it was gonna be $17.99 and he's like, $9.99, I'm like, okay. $17.99, I might've had to think twice. And then I got a pair of, two pairs of shoes. Okay, so. First pair of boots, I should say. Boots, boots, boots. Are these beautiful? They're suede, and then the back has um, I don't know what do you call that? Just like that shiny material, like scuba, like neoprene, and they're from Blondos again. They're in great condition. I paid $19.99 for them. I did. But these will sell for good money. I just got like probably around, yes, yeah, around $75. Let's see what I get. They are a size five and a half, and of course they're waterproof. Blondo. Suede, leather, waterproof boots. And then lastly, in this bag, got another pair of boots. They look like Harley Rider, you know, motorcycle boots. They're leather, they're heavy, they're a square toe. They're in amazing condition. They have some scratches a little bit. They have the buckle, the riding buckle. They have the pull on, leather tabs. Love the smell of leather. Inside, you can see they have that, you know, to support your back of your legs so it doesn't rub, rub. Very well made. The insoles are peeling a tad bit, but when you put your foot on it, it's not gonna bother your foot. I paid $14.99 for these. They have a slight bit of, um, slight bit of wear right here. Call it the Fred Flintstone wear. Now, I didn't know what brand this was because I couldn't see inside. I really thought they were Harley, but they're not. Because it says, non-marking, oil-resistant, long-wearing. Um, and then it says over here, Sullivan. So I thought they were like Sullivan boots, but they're not. They're from a brand called Nitrine. And there's not a lot of these, but these will be up for around $150, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, One excellent condition too. I want to say I saw they were size ten and a half somewhere, but let me just double check. God, these are made so well. 
Nitrine. I don't know, I'm gonna have to measure. It's a little bit of wear, like right up here and a little bit back there, but for like riding boots, it's not bad. Like little marks right there. I think they're a 10 or a 10 and a half, but I have to double check that and measure them. I always can have my husband try on because I go by what his foot wears and measuring them. So that was that bag. And my last bag. Some like purses and things like that. Let me open this. Bear with me a second. So here's the bag. It's like a beach bag. You know, a tan bag. And it has like multicolor pom-poms on it. But let me take out what's inside. So I could show you this one. Oops. And then I put everything back in it after. <laughs> okay. It's from a bag brand called Soir du Maroc. And it's actually a really, really expensive brand. So you could put all your stuff in it and then you have the tie, you tie it up like this. And they, they carry these all over Europe. This is a really expensive brand. I can resell this one for probably 100 to $125. I paid $8.99 really beautiful. So where do you Maroc? Isn't this beautiful? That's all yarn. Oh, just love this. Love, love, love. Okay, so inside of it, I got a pair of J. Crew sandals. They're black flip-flop sandals for $8.99. J. Crew size six it's from the outlet size six. Very little wear, no markings on them at all. I think they were worn maybe once, maybe once. Next, I got a vintage purse from Pierre Cardin. It's a navy blue leather bag. It has a gold strap. You can wear it as a clutch or you can wear it on your shoulder. It's um Vintage, I paid $8.99 for this as well. The bottom cool. I just love it. I love it. You can wear it dressy, not dressy, out to dinner. Just clutch. You can put this inside another bag. There's no marks on it. You know, a little bit of wrinkling from age, but she's, you know, beautiful condition. Next, I got a little Kate Spade. Diamonds, blue like diamonds. Little wallet, Kate Spade, New York. It was $4.99, can you tell? They only put like the uh, stickers everywhere. She doesn't look like she's been worn. Yep, yeah, it'll come right off. Kate Spade, New York. Little wallet and the outside has a little coin purse like moon dust next i just love the shape of this bag um i looked it up and it was a little all over the place um but i like the shape of it i know it's worth something um it's from arpel i'm not sure if it's adrian arpel i mean it does have an a it's like a flight bag because it has the wings on it so i don't know if it's like an old camera bag a flight bag it's tooled leather, it has exposed stitching. I mean, like, how cool is this bag? I just loved it. I love the shape. I love the worn leather look. I like the strap. It's made extremely well. Paid $9.99 for it. This strap, you can make it longer, shorter. I just know. I know this is good in my heart of hearts. I know it's good, and I love it. You can wear it crossbody. Put your camera in it. You can put your little Nintendo Switch in it. Your little Wii games, whatever. I don't know. Your vlogging camera. Next, this has to go in the wash. 
But I got a gray Bagolini. Common Tags taught me that people like this. So thank you, Common Tags. It has a million pockets. It has a front zip. It has this pocket that has a zip that goes all the way around. It has places for your cards, pockets, a zip pocket in it, something for your pens. Right, this bag goes on and on forever. People buy these for travel. I have to put it in the wash because there is a mark on it in the front. I'm sure it'll come off. If not, it doesn't. So we have a back pocket, which has a zip pocket that has a million pockets in here. It has two zip pockets, one in the front, one in the back. I paid $8.99 for this. $8.99. Has a big bagolini tag. Um, there's a front pocket, another deep pocket. So this is gray, the inside's yellow. Then it has your back hidden pocket. All your things you don't want other people to see. What's cool about this is you can wear it as a backpack. You see, because it has this, so you can wear it over your arm. You could change it to be like a backpack. Let's see? Backpack, backpack, backpack. Or shoulder bag, shoulder bag. Bagolini bag. I don't know, I think they go for like 50 bucks. Something in that neighborhood. So happy with that. Um, guys, that concludes, that concludes my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you have a favorite thing? Can you tell I'm being really picky on what I get? Do you think some of this I should have gotten? Is there something you really like or learned about or can tell me about? Because I like learning all the time. I want to thank you for being here. Bear with me with my same outfit for the next week or so. I'm not wearing the same outfit. It's just being filmed on the same day. Remember to be you. Until next time, everybody. I'm Carrie. My channel is Carrie T. Says. See you soon. Ciao. Bye.